guys um welcome to my youtube channel if this is the first time you're seeing this you know cute face welcome uh i don't know why i'm being uh, uh, like i see i'm shy i'm really excited about this video so recently i went to beirut lebanon and i got some questions not a lot just few people asking oh how did you do it how did you go about it and i was like you know what let me just film a video about this and let me put people through and so yeah I'll be showing you some clips of what I did in Lebanon and how I went ahead to just plan my whole trip. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get into the video. First things first, I chose to go to um, Beirut, Lebanon because I had been seeing so many videos of it on TikTok, on Instagram, and then you know all these like talk groups. I just noticed that that's where they were choosing and everything. So I went to do my research and I noticed, oh my God, it is actually cheaper than Dubai. Everybody's always like Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. But Lebanon is actually cheaper. And also what I noticed is that it had so many tourist attractions. Maybe not up to Dubai, but it had so many tourist attractions that were also affordable. I made a list of some of them. I will show you guys the ones I visited. But first things first, let me just um, break down cost and everything about Lebanon. Okay, so first things first is definitely your visa and for Lebanon, the visa is visa on arrival, which means when you get to the country, then you purchase your visa. So immediately we got to the country, um, um, the Beirut airport, the visa cost $5 for um, 15, from 12 days above, cost $2 for 10 days above. There's a way they should break it down, but because I was staying for 12 days, I paid $5. Ticket prices, as you know, varies on the airline you want to choose and the timing you actually book your ticket. Because I saw tickets that were like 398k, Tofro, I think that was Egypt, it was the cheapest. There's Qatar, there's Emirates, I think we saw MEA, but MEA was expensive because it did not have any stopover. You just fly directly to Beirut. So I think for that one, it's it's a personal thing, it's a thing of choice. Maybe you like a particular service that um, an airline provides or has given you or you've witnessed or experienced, basically. That's it. Um, one thing I think you guys need to know before you also go to Lebanon is that the economy is bad, okay? They are currently going through an economic crisis, which means that their currency is really bad. And when I say really bad, I mean really bad. I would put a clip to show you guys what their money looks like and I'll show you the um, conversion rate as well. I wouldn't advise anybody that is going to Lebanon to change their dollars to Lebanese pounds because in the end, they did not really pay us. Even if you're going to change, maybe just a little bit, uh, not too much. Another requirement is that you must have a proper hotel booking to show the immigration when you get to Beirut. So I already did that through bookings.com. There are other websites you can use to book your hotels as well, um, as well rather. But I just personally prefer bookings because I think they have fair rates as well. Um, I booked a night at Votre Hotel. I think it was about $120 per night. And I just wanted to stay there because I had already searched that it was close to somewhere that I could um, do paragliding. That's an activity. So I was just like, okay, I will stay there for the day, go and do the activity, check out but my my luggage will still be in the hotel and do the activity and just you know come back to pack my load and then go to another hotel that is actually in the city so um Votre hotel is actually at junior it's about 40 minutes from the airport so that's actually quite far from the center anyways the paragliding was such an experience i will put a video so that you guys can see by yourself if you are scared of heights I won't advise it, but it, it was it was it was amazing. It's something that everyone should do. Everyone can try to do. It was it was good. I had fun doing it as well. Okay, from the 
beautiful? Yes, very. Uh, important is you have to get a sim card because of internet connection you won't have internet connection if you're moving around except you're in your hotel so you have to when you first of all get there first thing you do is to get your sim card and that will literally make your life easier um the next thing i did is oh i think you should know yes is that local taxis are definitely cheaper than ubers or any form of like proper any app for transport um, transportation it's cheaper for you to definitely book a taxi just tell the hotel to call a taxi for you or once you already have it um a driver that maybe took you somewhere just collect his number and hit them up on whatsapp it's cheaper but there's something i also noticed and that's that um the the, the cost for going out is cheap but when you're coming back it's like times two. I don't understand how that works because it's like the same distance, but that's just how it was every single time. That's just how it was every single time. I'm trying to remember every single place that we went to. Okay, so for paragliding, uh, I'll put their contact also in the description bio. Uh, it's called Tele Telegraph something. I can't remember their name. Anyway, so once you buy your ticket, it is $80 per person. You get to paraglide. You also get uh, a GoPro video. That's the video that I already um, kept. That's the clip you guys just watched, rather. Um, you get it immediately, and they will also give you some tickets for the cab um, cable car. The cable car will take you over Junier, so you can see, like, kind of like the city of Beirut. And once you get up, you're also able to visit the Lady of Lebanon. It's like a... It's a statue, like a sanctuary. People are really quiet there. People go to pray and everything. It's like, you know, I feel like it gives like the Catholic vibe because it's um, Mary. It's the statue of Mary and then people just have candles around it, around her rather, I'm sorry, and they are praying. Yeah. So moving on, the next thing, how can I forget this? How can I forget this? It is so, so so important to carry your pepper. Maybe because I'm Nigerian and I kind of like spicy food, but these people do not understand the language of spice. Everything was so <laughs> not spicy. Even when we say, please make it spicy, we didn't get any spice. At the point, we're just like so tired of having burgers all the time. And I was just like, I wish I came with my pepper. At this point, Tabasco was not even doing it anymore because Tabasco has like this aftertaste. I don't know if you guys get it. It was not just working anymore. I was just like, I need my pepper. Like, I just wanted pepper so bad. So yeah, I'd advise you to take your pepper as well. And let me see. Next hotel I think we went to is called Kempinski. Kempinski is a chain of, is obviously like an hotel chain. It is expensive. I won't even lie. I think Kempinski was about $250 or $270 per night which is pricey, but the hotel was fabulous. Their service was fabulous. I enjoyed the pool. I also put a clip of the pool for you guys to see. I really loved the pool area. Um, the breakfast was not so great, but it was, it, was, it was decent because they would make adjustments. You're like, oh, I want this, I want that. I remember when um, my fiancé was trying to get eggs, and he was like, please make it spicy. And you guys... These people said, you want spicy, spicy you shall get. It was over spicy at this point. We couldn't even not eat it. That's what happened. Okay, so the next thing is, people are always like, oh my God, it snows in Lebanon. I don't believe it. It does actually, but it's like in a far area called Faraya. And one of the questions I asked, actually, um, someone on Instagram, when I saw that, I was like, oh, do I have to come with my snow outfit or is it possible for me to rent? 
and she was like either anyway so i just like instead of me carrying so much load why not just rent it i went there you guys it wasn't cheap but you can actually bag in that's what i noticed because i met some other girls that didn't bag in and when they head out they were like what they have been scammed so you guys if they tell you something is maybe 20 dollars bag in say five dollars if they don't agree say oh god take five dollars insist they would eventually like just say okay take it so i rented my old feet i would i think i have some clips from faraya i will also put it inside this video faraya was such a vibe and that was actually my first time of seeing snow i don't know if i was excited to be honest it was not it was cold but it was not freezing cold because it was already melting and it was close to summer already but it was so hard to walk on the snow i was just like okay so what's all the hype <laughs> that's how i felt but yeah it was a good experience like i mean i finally saw snow in my head i was like yay and all of that so that was that um also they have this go-karting place which is so much fun i think it's 30 dollar per lap i didn't do it but my fiance and his friends did it and they think it was bomb uh what other thing did i do what other thing oh i went drifting honestly i would have never thought i would say i want to drift and everything but i was just like let me give it a shot so you enter these cars and you're drifting and you're trying to like stay on the spot but yet you're spinning the car that was that was like real good memories i will also add the video of my drifting because i actually did quite well and they were giving me kudos so yeah it's not easy okay a multi-talented queen um i i'm trying to remember oh okay okay i remember we went somewhere called Batroon and um, Batroon is like this old lady that gives like the Italy vibe it looks like it feels like we're in Italy because it's like the old buildings in in Lebanon they are still like houses made of rocks and everything it is absolutely beautiful we went to I can't remember said something cathedral that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea and it was beautiful I took some amazing videos and pictures there. I was just like, wow, God they create because that place was beautiful. I went at sunset. Most people I have seen go during like daylight because of pictures and everything. But I went at sunset, um, Netherlands, and I loved my pictures. I loved my videos. It was exciting. I walked all around, explored the beach, and then from there I headed to, um, I think it's called Murray's. A restaurant and I had dinner. The dinner was it was fair. I won't lie, it was fair. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. Um, I think for food, depending on the, the standard of the restaurant you go to, per head you shouldn't be spending more than fifty, sixty dollars. So I think that's fair as well. Um, when we saw that we were already spending so much money, we decided to go to a hotel that was rather cheap and it was hundred dollars per night called bossa nova the facilities were not so great but the hotel was decent everything was working and that's what we needed and it was also close to the central anyway you wanted to go to chap chap you were there so it's not bad as well i will also put the name in the description link um let me see i'm trying to remember other things that i just anybody that would be going to lebanon to for the first time should know um Oh, okay. I remember one. So activity wise, there's there's a whole lot to do. I didn't even do everything at the end of the day. Is that you can actually do more than two things in a day because they're not. Some of them are really far from each other, but there's some that you can you know shuttle around or oh, do this, do that. Go to Jeta Goto, go to Lady of Lebanon, go to um. I'm trying to remember the Roush Rock. Oh, by the way, Rauh Shock is where I got proposed. Another story. I will be doing how my proposal happened in a different video. <laughs> oh, am I acting crazy? I'm so excited, guys. Sorry. Oh, I'm not wearing my ring. Should I pause the video and go wait? <laughs> Let's not be vain. As I was saying, you can do so many things in a day. So what we did is we just took a change of outfit and you just change the restroom because instead of you doing taxi on the way to the, um, what do you call it? All the way to your hotel coming back and everything before you know the day is gone and also it kind of helps if you have a tour guide i highly recommend gadi explores is amazing he helps with the videos and pictures and just kind of he knows the locals more and speaks arabic 
because oh by the way not all of them speak english that is a very in fact 80 percent of them don't speak english so you need someone that can help you trans um translate whatever they are saying by getting better with them and like they just know the place better it's just like a foreigner coming to lagos and you are taking them to a co-market of course you that are in lagos you know better and you know like corners shortcuts and all those type of things gadi was really helpful he took our pictures took our videos sometimes even you know got us extra privileges at some places so yeah i highly recommend him also he's very friendly his service is just great i will also put his link in the description bio and you guys can just hit him up and you know plan your trip better um one oh one last thing the people in lebanon are super nice i've been to a few places and so far i will give it to the people of lebanon that every single person was really nice and very amiable to us it was it was a good feeling like oh i'm in another man's country i didn't feel so weird or like i wasn't so conscious about myself even if i was black i'm black and i'm dark skinned i didn't feel crazy i was just like i'm feeling myself this place is not bad that kind of thing although i got a few stares from some children and they literally came to say hi this is my friend they're trying to introduce themselves and um my tall guy just explained that that kind of child has probably never seen a black person so they are fascinated but he didn't do it in a way that made me feel uncomfortable so that's why i'm like i didn't mind it um i think for this video i've told you guys a, a, enough if there's any other thing i will include it in my other video after this video also you guys you know prep because i'll be telling you how i got proposed to at the raw shop in beirut i'm excited and i know you guys will actually enjoy that one so yeah that's a video for you guys to look forward to if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you know anybody that would be like that would love to go to lebanon please 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 recommend this video to them i know it will help them you know plan their itinerary better um what else what else what else don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah goodbye